Hello and welcome back to Tyranny. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Let's go to the Fort Squander first. Then we'll deal with Cacophony. Shall we? And hopefully today, I mean for me today, we'll be able to finish the Tyranny. For you it could be probably another week or so, I think. Blood. This place is manned by a skeleton crew. Could be that half of Quarmen are out raiding, but I don't like it. Her nostrils flare. Either way, this is our best opportunity to get in and out without having to cut our way through a hundred coarse scraps. Unless it's a trap. Never far more for my mind fade by there, but it pays to keep on one's toes. Verse Max. Let's say you and I go blind ourselves, blind ourselves some fates. Blood stains the wall, thick as layered paint, and dead flies stick uh, to its tacky surface. There seems to be too much gore to be the result of battle, but if it's supposed to be the core, its meaning is lost in its mad excess. Let's walk around. I'll look for maybe another way in. It's so quiet. And I think it's burning. <laughs> Something is burning, for sure. You really are ignoring this way in. Really. You see, you know, if we enter there, and they will be waiting. We will kill all of them. Let's enter. Cloth. Here's a shadow understands. Today there's something wrong with the sound. I can barely hear anything, but then once music starts playing, it's so loud. We can't access that? Oh, never mind. dozen corpses, most bearing this favorite branch on their skin, hang in various states of bloody abuse in this converted animal pen. It's unclear whether this torture served as interrogation or entertainment. rust marred iron weapons have been strewn haphazardly in the corner of the fort. Some seem to be vicious knives, 
Vicky's knives broken down from larger swords, while others blades boast new barbs of serrated edges. A man spins to meet you as you enter the core of the stronghold, his carbon black skin gleam, gleaming with sheen of sooty sweat. Sweeps of grey ash smear his red robes, and he grasps in his hands the staff of a blood chanter, orange flames licking its length. There's Arkon. His eyes flicker to you, and he bows his head slightly. Then, then you know who I am and why I'm here. That should make things quick and easy. Her eyes shimmer with the reflected light of Catarus's flame. I assume... Eh, let's just clear. Apologies for the lack of introduction, Archon. I am Catarius, one of the school of ink and quill. The sage smiles, indicating himself with a flat hand upon his chest. The hand, remaining flat, rotates and pitches to indicate, to indicate the verse. More to the matter at hand, however, I am one of the three survivors of the group that met your friend Scarlet Fury Patrol in open battle in Apex a few years ago. You seem pretty damn matter of fact about it for someone whose remaining life is measured in hours. So long. You think I'm going to make it quick, kindly cock? No, no, I'm going to savor this. Nice and slow. She barks out a laugh. Katarius rings his staff with both hands and records you with narrowed eyes. How did I come to earn your unbridled enmity? You let Crocus live, and he was easily the worst of us. That wasn't my fucking call! <laughs> Versus weapon appear in her hands. Hold, Fury! Aren't you the slightest bit curious about why the man who killed your Fury friends holds a tent in the middle of Kairos for second Scarlet Corps incumbent? He holds out a flat, filthy thing. That stops very short. Her eyes, when she looks to you, have widened with doubt. Got something to say, Sage? Spill it before we spill you. Could I have said it much better? First turns, buoyed by the rough in your words like a feather on a warm updraft. Simply put, I am a creature of the voices of Nerat. The voices? What? Why are you trying to say? The course took me and everyone in my village almost four years ago, my wife included. I think you would like Marion. Were she not wrapped up in all of this? She's broad of shoulders, muscles like a beast woman, her spirit full of oil and fire. He taps his staff thoughtfully. Several crafts made built like a beast woman? Be careful of wish. She chaps slightly. Let me guess, the voices used her to control you. Muscle matters in the chorus, but a vicious killer is just a pawn to the Archon of Secrets. Only knowledge truly matters. That made me valuable to them. Marion, less so. He stares into the magical flame coiling on the head of his staff. So you cut a deal, her upper lip crawls back revealing a sharp yelled canine. I told them I would do whatever they wanted, so long as they kept her out of their more sacrificial operations. He lets loose another long sigh, shoulders sl sinking slightly as if under a growing burden. As a tearsman and a sage, I could go places the voices people couldn't. Join causes that they couldn't. Long before the Tarkis clan reached an agreement with the sages to slaughter the Garrison on Adventure's Well Citadel, I helped Tarkis Demos plan his resistance. The voices allowed the Oathbreakers to slaughter the Corus's expendable gangs as distractions for the true objectives. The voices fought first and her sister's expendable. Bullshit! Each viewer is worth two dozen conscripts! A sisterhood that dances together like ours? There's no more vicious force on the whole fucking field of war! I think you're right. Or something like right. We weren't supposed to kill you and we weren't supposed to take you alive. The voices wanted you to witness your squad's death. The sage nods vigorously. 
But you didn't kill us all, you took Gazer! Where's the swords carry the trail of winter? We captured one of you, yes! Irisa wanted to finish her off as a warning. Crocus thought we could sell her. I sided with him and suggested a ransom to the Archon of Secrets. That's what we did. I got your friend home to the voices. His gaze rises to verses. You lie, Red Gazer. My sister is dead. Mismatched eyes glare from beneath a lowered brow. If so, she was killed after we left her with the Archon. Which I suppose brings us to the present. The voices left me with standing orders. If you ever figured out the truth of it, I was to bring you to them. So that's what happens next. She wraps the, the bridge over his nose. Which is why I've kept you talking until the refreshments return from patrol. <laughs> In the brief silence that follows, you discern quiet chatter and the sound of boots on dry air from elsewhere in the fort. Help us, and we'll help you. <laughs> if I don't bring you back, it doesn't matter whether or not I died in the trying. <laughs> the voices of Narat will murder Marion. <laughs> He lifts his staff and the flames along its length brighten, illuminating runes burned into the wood. The only other way to save her would be to kill the Archon of Secrets. Then we will kill the Archon of Secrets. There are more soldiers coming into the fortress now than you felt on your way to me. Yet, if anyone can kill the Archon of Secrets, it would be you. His chapped lips purse. Not me. Us. But first, we we have to get free of here. Then this conversation is over, right? Murderous anger flickers with reflected flame in her eyes as she glares hungrily at Ktorius. Ktorius, help us get out and we will revisit the question of what to do with you. Shit, fade by there! We don't need this damned fire fondler! Alright, if that's how we're going to do this, let's do it already! She sighs. You won't regret this, Archon. I just hope that I don't. He ready his stuff as the sound of the approaching course gun grows louder. No, well, wait. I mean, we'll follow him. Is he already dead? You're not going anywhere. It's hard for me to tell. Yeah, okay. Whoops. I think he'd take that. Focus on him. Like no. Useless? 
Serena. Oh. Here's cloth. Who did you? Oh, she killed me. Open. Oh, there was something I could have looted. Damn it. Dragging his hand down his face, Katarius wipes away an oily admixture of sweat, blood, and soot. The time of reckoning is upon us, Archon. Do we part to work against the voices of Nerad in our separate ways? Or do you strike me down here? After, of course, I've scared you with my flames. Oh, shut up already! Just go! She gestures simply toward the dry trees in the distance. Thank you, Verse. For what it's worth, I wish we hadn't hurt your sisters. Nodding slowly, he turns to leave. Katarius, if I see you again, you'll be dead before you realize I'm there. Fair enough, Madame Fury. Fair enough. He nods again. A small smirk flashes across Katarius' face as he turns and walks off into the distance. Her gaze hanging on the horizon, Verse sighs and turns her focus back to you. Lapsing into silence, Verse stares up into the sky still smeared with the smoke of the burning library, puts both hands on her back, just above her hips, and stretches, jutting her pelvis forward until her spine releases a series of satisfying snaps. Nothing simple in your wake, is it? With the voices, I listened when I was supposed to listen, reported everything I heard, killed what he told me to kill. Black and white, black and red, anyway, she smirks. I guess it was always complicated. I just ignored the complexities. I can't operate solely on gut instincts anymore. My gut would see this whole damn peninsula burnt to cinders. And then what? She messages her right eye eyebrow. Teratus rewards strength. I didn't think I was strong enough to move in. Well, influential circles. And that, I don't know, makes me nervous. <laughs> Listen to me. Next thing I'll be wearing robes and making you call me Archon. Let's finish this later. I want to get out of this whole binder. She brushes dust from her palms. Keep eyes and ears open. And we must go back to the mountain spire, of course, because she won't talk to us anywhere else. Aside the road ahead of you, you espy a cart. The vehicle is abandoned with one wheel broken free of its axle. Several crates and sacks remain piled on a small wagon, while a pair of boxes rest in the grass below beside it. Let's leave it. If we can spot any bodies nearby, then mm, I'd rather not touch it. As still as an owl on its perch, Verse stares in the direction of Cacophony, a warm breeze from the east playing at the fires, festooning her head. Fate finder. Almost no movement accompanies her subdued greeting. Verse. I feel my sisters twisting around inside me, Binder. I can't tell whether they're dancing or trying to cut their way out. Or it, both. It sounds like you're trying to justify your own tumultuous feelings. Maybe? Like, all this passion, this wild, frenzied lust, it's actually coming from me. I'm just giving it my sister's voices. Or something. She splays her fingers before her, apparently taking a vested interest in the grime beneath her nails. It feels like all that's in front of me is a gorge so wide and so deep that there's nothing to see but wide open air. She looks at you. Say we come out of this with minds and bodies intact, 
You've got the tears, and the Overlord has everything else. Then what? Then I take the fight to Kairos. <sighs> Shit. I thought you might say something like that. Seems a damned foolish route to take, but it's yours to fork. She renews her interest in her fingers. The voices... I can't imagine him bending the knee to you. Whatever you've got planned, if you're walking into the heart of his power, you'd better be kitted for war. The Archon of Secrets will fall by my hand. Your confidence inspires. It's positively fucking infectious. She smirks. The Voices has more years behind him than a person can rightly imagine. If anyone's ever dug up a way to cheat the Void, it would be him. What if that way is me? We know he was preparing me for something. What if he made some trap door into me? What if he's hiding inside me right now? You have to keep control of yourself. You know, I'd never considered trying that. Got any suggestions on that front? She rolls her eyes. Figure out who Verse is and stay Verse. Now you're going to have me asking how I'm not myself? And don't try and turn me into a sage. <laughs> We've got shit to do, right? Don't let me hold you up. And thanks, Fatebinder. Archon. Arcbinder. Verse greens. I like the sound of that. Arcbinder. And I think this is a good place to end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.